Welcome back, everybody, to Grand Tactician the Civil War. I'm Grumpy Grumpa Gaming, and this is episode 41 of our Confederate Summer 61 campaign in version 1.10 using the AOM mod. Now, uh, did a little bit of a milestone here, uh, just uh, yesterday or sometime during the night. Uh, even though this channel is only six months old and has less than 300 uh, subscribers, we have actually broken 5,000 hours of view time. Uh, I've only been running this channel about uh, around six months, so that's that's a huge number in my books. I don't know about what anybody else thinks of that, but uh, for as few subscribers this channel does have, that is a lot of watch time. And uh, I'm quite amazed by it myself. But, uh, moving on from there. Uh, last episode, uh, we don't have much to cover because uh, in the last two episodes, uh, episode 39, part 1 and 2, and episode 40, we haven't even moved the game a full day. It is uh, still March 24th. Uh, we fought two battles of Cairo basically on the same day. Uh, first battle seeing off the uh, First Corps Army of Indiana, supported by the Second Corps of the Army of Missouri, and then the second battle seeing off the Second Corps of the Army of Missouri again because there was some type of glitch, so they came in even when they should have been retreating. So, uh, Weisinger's been doing a good job over here, seeing them off outside of Cairo. So, plans are for this area right now, once again. I'm going to let him rest. I just detached him from the Army of Tennessee. And he's sitting as a separate command right now until he gets back up in the green. Then I'm going to advance him up towards Springfield. Once he's in Springfield, I'll put him back under the Western Department Command and I'll be advancing the Corps of the Arkansas up to Peoria. And then he'll be jumping from Springfield up to Chicago. And hopefully we'll have some control of Illinois with this army. Uh, once again, my plans have not changed at all over here. I will be advancing the Army of Tennessee into Indiana uh, once we have seized. Uh, I was corrected on my pronunciation of uh, Covington. So uh, I think it's uh, Cov uh, Covington or yeah, it's Covington. Well, my pronunciation was correct. I probably just still butchered it. So I uh, have a good laugh at that. Have a good laugh at my account on that. When I try to pronounce things the way they are regionally, you can't always get it right. Uh, where all this comes down to uh, accents and the way people speak that uh, changes things. So, uh, once he's in Corps of the Army, Tennessee's in Covington, uh, they'll advance into Cincinnati and then come over and support operations in Indiana. And once again, I still have the Corps of the Arkansas, uh, Correction Corps of Monongahela, on its way to Cleveland. With the, uh, no, Court of Canada is on its way to Cleveland. Court of Monaga Hill is going to sit here with the Army Command. And once we have flipped Cleveland, we are going to go after this Army and end this grudge match once and for all. And over here in the east, we are going to continue to sit steady, even with the Federals running roughshod through Western Virginia. I'm not too worried about it because they're not really doing anything. And like I said, unless all these Corps come at me together in one mass... There was nothing to worry about. Only one of these corps outnumber uh, one of my other corps, and that is Second Corps here from the Army of Kentucky with 27,000 men. Otherwise, the rest of them are all very low strength corps. Uh, 17,000 there, 3,500. Army of the West has 20,000. I don't know where its core is, or unless that is its core. That shows zero strength with 20,000 men. Our Michigan's got 3,500. Already Shenandoah 2100. None of these, there's nothing here that Lee cannot handle on his own. And we are still reducing Fortress Monroe with a 72% chance of victory. And because the game has only gone not even a full day, his readiness has come up a little bit, but should raise up to orange pretty quickly and I'll be able to get him reported and then send him after the Florida Key squadrons again. And. Hopefully, finally, we will have the Gulf clear of federal presence. And I am waiting for the Lincoln's Gift Squadron to get their readiness back up so I can send them back out on their blockading missions. And I'm not sure if I'm going to send them back out to the trade nodes again or send them back up to the New England coast where he was, actually had a very, very good coverage. His readiness is back at green, but a lot of his ships... I'm looking at the wrong thing here. 
His readiness is back in the green, not Savannah Squadron. Where is Lincoln's gift? There they are. Okay, he is back up in the green, but seven of his 13 ships are disabled. So he's going to be here quite a while. The St. Mary's is going to be out of action. It says one day. That can't be correct. I, I ran the game one hour, but that can't be correct. Last time I looked at it, this was like 60-somewhat days. Uh, the Preble's down. The Pohatan's down. See, this one says 105 days, so this one's probably correct. The other two are not. Though they are both sloops. They probably do repair quickly. Uh, the Water Witch is out of commission for another one day. Some of these, this can't be correct. It's saying one day for a lot of these ships, but that can't be correct. Alonzo Child, one day. Yeah, none of that can be correct. Maybe the Buckthorn, yeah, maybe the Alonzo, the rest of them, they're, they're all below 50%. They shouldn't be ready in one day, except maybe the Water Witch. So that's got to be a glitch on the numbers there. All right, I think that should cover everything. So uh, I'll be back once uh, something else happens. Alrighty, we've made it through to March 28th, and we just got ourselves a meeting engagement here. Uh, I was moving the core of the Arkansas back towards uh, Quincy when uh, we ran into First Corps Army of Missouri. And there's another core in the area. It's 29 hours away. I'm not sure where it is or what unit it is. But it's there somewhere. So we got uh, Charles Sanford. It's in command overall going up against Price. Uh, they do have a big numbers advantage here. They got 35,200 infantry, 512 cavalry, and 70 guns. To my uh, 19,000 infantry, 145 cavalry, and 22 guns. Uh, we got issues here. I mean, we're definitely taking this fight. We have taken Missouri, and we are holding on to it. So, uh... I will be back after the load screen. Welcome everybody to the Battle of Palmyra. So, uh, as you can hear, we got a pretty severe thunderstorm going on on the map right now. And we do have an advantage. So the other Federal Corps is 29 hours away. And we are on Confederate-controlled territory. Their morale is at 45. Or a 48.5 to our 63. And we have a 3,000-man advantage. So, I'm taking this fight straight to them. They are up here defending the Copperton Road. We are down here. So, it's going to take me a little while to get there. Especially with the mud and the rain. We get the swamps here on the right. But, uh... We're going to go after them, and we need to knock them out before the other core arrives. Otherwise, they will have the numbers advantage, and a big one, too. So, I do have another division. This is a three-division, three-infantry division core, and no cavalry. So, I do have another infantry division of uh, Indian allies being recruited for this core. But they're about another 30 days away from standing up. And then I have to recruit a cavalry division for this core. So, me... As of right now, I only have Price's lifeguard available of 145 men. So just in case, I'm sending them up here to seize this entry point. That we should have this done today, hopefully. Because their morale is low. I'm just going to punch them in the face and get rid of them. And hopefully deal with the other core on another day. So uh, I'm going to get my boys set up and get them moving down the road. And I'll be back uh, once the action starts. Alrighty, I was advancing my army into Copperton, but I just spotted, I know it's a game glitch, but I just saw some federal skirmishers right over here. So they are defending outside of Copperton, it looks like, instead of back on the defense point. So I gotta try and not advance my uh, army as far as I was planning until I get a better sighting going on. It looks like instead of fighting back where I thought we were going to be fighting up here which is better for us even we, though we have to advance through uh, Apple Orchard to town and some wooden land it will be better for us nonetheless I'm probably not going to be able to bring my artillery into play as I would like 
uh, do have a fresh artillery division. This this corps was working very shorthanded for a long time. They didn't have artillery. Still short of division of infantry and a division of cavalry. So the infantry is being raised. I still have to raise the cavalry. So uh, there is that. So just a little change in plans. Looks like we're going to be coming at them through town here. So sort of skirmishes here on the other side of the fence line. So uh, I'll be back. All right, they definitely have us sided, though we don't have them sided. Their artillery, see, my artillery would never be able to do this. Theirs is firing through the town, through the woods, and hitting my infantry. So they are here on the other side of this fence line. So that was not just a graphical glitch that placed them there. So I have uh, Price's lifeguard. It's going to take a while for them to do it, but I got them coming out this way so I can hopefully get a better siding on how the Federals are set up. But, uh... My core is slowly coming up the road here, and once we're in position, uh, we'll begin the attack. And it looks like the Federals are coming down the road towards us. It looks like they just put an artillery battery right in front of us. We have them outnumbered, and they are coming for us. This is good. You guys need to reroute. Stay off that front line. They want to advance that artillery without. Oh, hello. Do we have them outnumbered? My original report said we outnumbered them. We do. But not by much. There we go. Take that battery out before they close in. Guys, advance and get that one. They want to give me a gift of a few batteries, and I'll take it. Stay on them. Here we go. See that battery off? You know, we have these other brigades out here. We just lost sight of them, but I do have the other division on the way to take care of that. Now, advance into the wood line. State sharpshooters. I think they might be the only viewer brigade in this army. They are. There we go. Take that battery down. Good job, boys. Taking a longer time for orders and whatnot to get around as it is raining, so everything's muddy as all hell.
I give all the batteries new orders. They have an entire division moving around my flank. Go rally your damn guns. I don't think this will be too big of a fight. The morale is crap. Yeah, we got him knocked down to 42 already. Down by another point. Uh, if only this cavalry regiment was a at least 500 men. I'd send them in to snatch up this battery that I saw back here. There it is. Right, take out that battery. Yep, and line with the other two brigades. See off this brigade and turn on the flank of that one. There we go, take them down. Get that brigade next. Why the hell did Stovall's battery break? He only took one casualty. It's the first fight, but come on. You guys can stand back up. after him. Get after that battery. You guys are coming back in for some more? Come on. We'll bludge you.
Now Claiborne, go get them. Look at that cavalry brigade. Can't wait for you guys to get in position any longer. side of that infantry brigade over here. There they are. The guys are taking artillery and rifle fire so they won't hang around long. I need sight of that unit again. Where did it go? It's starting to break. See, that's what I want to see. Clayburn, why are you arguing? Oh. No, it doesn't matter. about to be seen off. There's that battery. I want to help with these boys. Let me get up to this fence line. I want to see what's out there. And Doc, we broke. Shouldn't have. guys, keep them in range, lock them down. Iron Brigade West. That's Iron Brigade everybody knows and refers to. Claymer took some uh, heavier casualties than he should have, considering he was arguing he has men at medium range instead of long range. Get in closer, get those rifles to good use. You guys finished building? No. Stay on them, keep them in range. It's time to see this army off, or his core off. This way. Keep them in range, damn it. Go collect yourself some scalps. There they go. was drawn. These guys are getting experience better than they were. I got two levels of that uh, training manuals now.
is your morale. 46, why is that? And we got them to 10% casualties. We're not getting a major victory out of this. Get that detachment. I want those guns. There they go. Ah, it's frozen. Alright. Hey, when that happens. That's a visual glitch. It's really annoying. We'll do a hard save right here. Whenever you get this, just run along the edge here. You can see, uh, close it out. Even though you can't see, but you can see the save game pop up on the mouse cursor. So it still works. It's just this is a visual glitch. That was save. And that got rid of it. There we go. Don't fire at them. Fire at the 18th. Waterfield will take care of these boys. No, that's a battery, not a detachment. Go get them. Give me them guns. Why are you guys not at long range? The shark. Oh, that's how my division commander was arguing. I didn't catch it. The 18th is broken. Now break these guys. Give them some more ca Why are you falling back? What the hell's going on there? There we go. Break this battery in that brigade and I'll be happy, man. Come on, break them. Ready to break. And one minute left. Come on. There they go. <laughs> we didn't break every brigade in this army, but we came close. All right. I am quite honestly surprised that they uh, came that far forward and then started marching towards me as I had the numbers advantage. A little surprised. Never your casualties than I wanted, but it is what it is. So uh, we lost us. Uh, we caused 1,600 casualties to their 32,000 infantry. They didn't have 32,000 on the field. They had more like uh, 16,000 on the field. Didn't catch any of their cavalry. Took 45 of their 65 guns, which told 1,900 or 34,000. Uh, because I was pushing that attack in, and we did take uh, higher casualties. Uh, we are attacking, so it is going to happen. And uh, some of those brigades switched over to medium range fire, which I was not happy about, which probably did cause some higher casualties than necessary. So we, uh, we lost 1,245 of our 18,850 infantry, zero of our cavalry, uh, five of our 25 guns. That's that battery that broke. So I'm very upset about that because they took one casualty and they ran. We're told of uh, 1,247 of our 19,416 men. Let's take a look at the paperwork. Lifeguard wasn't involved. Kansas Engineers didn't fight. Watkins Division, which has Walker's Brigade, Hughes and Pawnee. None of these are viewer units. 
Uh, division itself cost 685 casualties. Uh, Walker's Brigade, uh, Tandy Walker, uh, cost 403 infantry casualties, 74 artillery casualties for a total of 480. Uh, Hughes Brigade did 97 infantry casualties, 10 artillery for a total of 107. And the Pawnee Brigade, because I raised them at Pawnee Rock, uh, 75 infantry casualties, 23 artillery for a total of 98. Cockroll. Oh, I was looking at Cockroll's division. Uh, Watkins division. Claiborne posed 219 infantry casualties and two artillery casualties for a total of 221, but I think he took that same amount in casualty. Yeah, he took almost the same amount in casualties as he caused. Uh, Porterfield caused 179 infantry casualties, 27 artillery for a total of 206, and Little caused 269 to infantry, 8 to artillery for a total of 277. Maury. Uh, we have the first Confederate sharpshooters in this division. They don't have your brigade in this corps. So they didn't do much. I thought they saw more action than they did apparently. What are the casualties? Took 73 casualties. That's not good. So, uh, Shaver caused 220 to infantry, and one artillery for a total of 221. Dockery caused 289 to infantry, 66 to artillery for a total of 355. And the Sharptrees only did 13 infantry casualties, did 69 artillery casualties for a total of 82. I thought they saw more combat than they did. So I know they did a lot of firing. It looks like they weren't very effective with it, though. And the artillery division on the grunt, uh, total of 53, so... Stovall's battery broke, which really pissed me off. There was no reason for it. But they didn't cause much in a way casualties either. Uh, so I'm not going to go through each battery. So 53 total for the division. Alrighty. So let's see if we can close out of here without freezing. Alright. Uh, sorry about that. I cut out the last. Uh, I had to cut out what I was saying. Uh, got a little loud behind me, and the uh, microphone picked it up. So uh, as I was saying, I was quite pleased with that battle. Um, even with the casualties being as high as they were for myself, it was. It could have been a lot heavier. If that other court had arrived, it would be a pretty bad bloodbath on my part. As I would, they would have attacked me, but with their numbers differential, they probably would have flanked my core out of position. So, it's a good thing they did attack me the way they did, so. I'm a little pleased. Alright, victory at Palmyra. How the hell did my avatar become a national hero? His division didn't do anything. That doesn't make sense. Alright, and it is what it is. So the Battle of Pine Myra has ended with the Army of Missouri retreating in panic. They suffered reported casualties of 1,930 men, there of 215 killed, 804 captured. Our casualties total 1,247 men, with 171 killed, 160 missing, and the rest wounded. We captured 1,103 rifles and 22 guns from the battlefield and sent 873 soldiers down to, uh, out to Andersonville and Camp Chase. Wait, do we still control Camp Chase? I think we do. Yeah, it's over here somewhere. We can draw it still. There it is. Sitting where the battle is fought, they probably sent over to Camp Chase. Alright, let's roll this forward a little bit. So it's March 28th. I want to try and roll this forward to at least April 1st so we can uh, start the next episode with the monthlies. Looks like they're stacked. That's still the first and second cart. Uh, first Corps Army, Indiana. Second Corps Army, Missouri over here. That's probably the first Corps Army, Missouri over here that we didn't see.
I didn't even check to see uh, which commander that was on the field. Uh, Zanford was also in charge in total, but the core commanders were uh, Schofield and Rosecrans. I'm not sure which one of the two it was. I'll get that rolling off. Let's take a look at our siege. It hasn't moved much since the 24th. It shows us a 74% chance of winning now, so it has moved a little in our favor. And can we put our fleet back into port? Yes. There we go. Get back to port. And it looks like the Gulf Block Cadence Squadron has stopped the running, so I'm going to go after it again. So once he's back in the green, we'll run a few more raids. If we don't catch anybody in those raids, we'll send him out for a general engagement again. That's Army Command, not worried about that. So trying to get this to go one more day. There we go, 31st. And April 1st, so I think we will end this one here so I can open the next episode with the monthlies. So let's just take a look at all the fronts here. So, Corey Arkansas stopped here, but I'll wait till he's ready. You know what? We'll just continue ordering him on into Quincy. Corps of Engineers in position. Been strengthening the telegraph lines out here. Alright, what we got going on down here? So, Court of Missouri is ready to move again. So, let's move them up here. I'll give them orders at least to move on here to Salem. Alright, we've taken Evansville, the core of Western Tennessee, so I need to bring him up to Indianapolis. We are flipping Cincinnati. Oh, there's somebody I can't see down here, I think. Maybe. It's showing me the flip bar on that. That shouldn't be there, so I think there might be a unit in the area I can't see. Hmm. We are flipping Cleveland. As soon as that is done, we will move on to Toledo. I lost sight of that army up there, but we will find them and we will beat them into the damn dirt. And out here in Virginia, still looking quiet. Uh, the Army of New England did come up, uh, come down the valley towards the core of the Potomac. And then they retreated off because they only had like 5,500 men. So they just, they left the field. So they're just kind of sitting steady over here out in the mountains. And I don't know if they're starving themselves or what. Ooh, they control VMI. I'm not happy with that, but nothing I really can do about it. I don't want to unmask a Winchester. few messages here. Why is it double shot at me monthly? So I'm just going to ignore that for now. And how's the squadron look? Shows in the green, but how the right... Okay, these ships are back, but they should be repairing. Okay, that's another 55 days. 62. 95 days. Hmm. I'm going to show this one repairing those should be. She's at 39%. 19 days. I don't want to send all these fourth rates out unsupported. Because they'll just get ripped apart by anything. 
I can send one ship at a line and rip apart all the fourth rates out on the blockade duty, so I need those uh, larger ships in the region also. All right, I do believe we will end this one here. Uh, you're a new viewer, return of you, not yet subscribed. Please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, remember to hit that bell icon so you alert when the next videos come out. If you like a brigade of one of my armies, please let me know in the comments below. Type of unit, the state is from, weapons, uniforms, officers, and I will oblige you on all counts if possible. And comments, 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 keep them coming. You know I do enjoy answering them. And I'll see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy.